Ako badaki deke 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 de boko badi kakida. Deke badaku deke de zoko bodo badakeda kuka badeke ke dika badakoda zada badabaku de dika de ke de bodo baka ke di boka kuka ki de ke de bodo badaka di di boka baka kodo de badaki de ke de boko ke de badaki de ke di bodo badika dika bako ka ke da ka dika boda badaka zoko badaki de ke de bodo bada de ke boka baki da ka do ka ki da ka di ke ke bodo bada ka za da badi ko ko bodo di ke de bada ku de ke de bodo badi ka di ka ba ko ka ke de ke de ke de ke de zo ko bodo ba ka ki da ka di thank you heavenly father in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen heavenly father we just want to say thank you we thank you for your word we thank you for this moment in time to bring forth your word. I pray you breathe upon your word. Take over my lips, speak to your people. Let there be deliverance, let there be healing, let there be restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. This morning we're going to be looking at the topic that says, God stop the process of wickedness. Oh Lord, stop the process of wickedness. I pray that God will stop the process of every form of wickedness in your life, in your nation, in your family, in your academics, in your marriage, in your ministry, in the mighty name of Jesus. We'll be taking our Bible test from the book of Hosea 9 verse 14. Hosea 9 verse 14. Hosea 9 verse 14. And the Bible said, give them, O Lord. He said, what thou, what will thou give? And he said, give them a miscarrying womb and a dry breast. Hosea 9 verse 14. He said, O Lord, what will thou give? He said, give them a miscarrying womb and a dry breast. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So we're going to be looking at this scripture and this topic i don't know what interpretation you have gotten regarding this particular scripture but as inspired by the holy spirit a miscarrying womb means to stop the process of every form of wickedness and the plan of the wicked in our lives you know what, the process of miscarriage, when a fetus has started developing and all of a sudden there is a miscarriage, it means that the process of that development has stopped. So we are going to be asking God this morning, even as we look at how God is going to stop the process of wickedness in our places of work, in our nation, in our community, in our churches. Then we're going to be crying to God at the tail end of this message, asking God to stop the process. I tell you, if God put a stop to the process of wickedness in your life, victory is sure. But when they are allowed, when the process is allowed to continue, then the enemy will succeed. But I pray this morning, the enemy will not succeed over your life, over your ministry, over your marriage, over your spouse and your children in the mighty name of Jesus. A miscarrying womb means to stop the process of the plan of the wickedness of the wicked. And that plan will be stopped this morning in the name of Jesus. As many that are planning to stop, take your job from you. As many that are moving from one place or the other to stop the process of your marriage. As many that do not want you to go to school. As many that are tarnishing your image everywhere. Feeding your divine helpers with negative things, comments about you. Derogatory comments about you. So that no one is willing to help you. The Lord is going to stop that process this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. 
The book of Acts 23, verse 12 to 14. Acts 23, verse 12 to 14. The Bible says, and when it was day, Acts 23, 12 to 14. Say, and when it was day, certain of the Jews bonded together and bound themselves under a cause, saying, saying that they would neither eat nor drink till they had killed Paul. Verse 13. And they were more than 40 which had made this conspiracy. And they came to the chief priests and elders and said, we have bound ourselves under a great cause that we will eat nothing until we have slain Paul. Hallelujah. So many people say, now therefore, ye with the counsel signify to the chief captain that he bring him down unto you tomorrow as though ye would inquire something more perfectly concerning him. And we, or even ever, he come near, are ready to kill him. Praise God. So many people are in this category today for no reason Men and women have come together. Society has come together. Institutions have come together against your purpose in life, against your plan in life. They have said they will never rest until they see you fall, until they see you frustrated, until they see you fail, or until they see you weep. Just like what they did to Paul. You see, men came together. They bond themselves. They, they reach an agreement together. They said, we will neither eat nor drink for evil until we see him pull down. Some men, they bind themselves until they see you destroyed. Some men, they involve in one evil or another on a daily basis. They are moving from one witch daughter to another. They want to see your marriage scattered. They want to see your business destroyed. They want to see your spouse behaving the way they are not supposed to be behaving. They want to see you live in penury. They will never rest until they see that happen. But I prophesy into your life this morning that the power of the Most High God will give them a miscarrying womb and a dried breast. We stop the process of all their evil plan against you and your household in the name of Jesus. In the book of 2 Kings 6, verse 30 to 33, the Bible says, and it came to pass, 2 Kings 6, 30 to 33. The Bible says, and it came to pass when the king heard the words of the woman, that he rent his clothes and he passed by upon the wall and the people looked and behold, he has sackcloth within upon his flesh. Then he said, God do so and more also to me. If the head of Elisha, the son of Shephat shall stand on him this day. Can you imagine? But Elisha sat in his house, and the elder sat with him, and the king sent a man from before him. But Era the messenger came to him. He said to the elder, See ye how this son of a murderer has sent to take away my head. Look, when the messenger comes, shut the door and hold him fast at the door. Is not the son of his master's feet behind him? 33. And while he yet talked with them, behold, the messenger came down unto him, and he said, behold, this evil is of the Lord. What shall I wait for the Lord? Why, what should I wait for the Lord any longer? Praise God. You see, a prophet of God 
someone had planned and boasted a vow to ensure that he cut off his head, prophet Elisha. And God revealed to Elisha, this is what has been planned against you. And he said to the kinsmen, he said, this is what they, they, they are planning. This is what they want to do. And God stopped that process. Today, I declare over your life that everyone that is planning an evil against you, everyone that is planning to cut your life short, everyone that wants to make life miserable for you, that wants you to continue to live in sin on a daily basis, the Lord is going to stop the process of their plans in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. How we God stop the process of the enemy? How we God give them a miscarrying womb? We are going to look at some areas or some ways that God will use to stop them. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He will bring everything hidden into light. Look at what happened to Elisha. Before they were planning, God has revealed it to Elisha. There is only one who sees everything, and it's only God that can see everything. He knows every secret of man. He has eyes. He has fire in his eyes to see every wickedness, no matter how deep the wickedness is. <laughs> No matter how deep the secret is, we have a God who is able to see and reveal it to his children, his prophet. Hallelujah. Nothing is secret that is not being revealed. Nor anything hidden that will not be known and come to light. Luke 8 verse 17. Let's look at Luke 8 17. Let's see what God is saying here. Hallelujah. Luke 8 17. There is nothing that is hidden from our God. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. Neither anything hid that shall not be known or come abroad. So God is going to stop the process and the plan of the evil one concerning your life. We give them a miscarried womb and a dried breast. So that their process cannot continue in the mighty name of Jesus. So God will bring everything hidden to light concerning your life. Another way that God does this, that he will avenge you. God will take vengeance on your behalf. You don't need to avenge yourself. Hallelujah. God will take vengeance for you. Let's look at the book of Romans 12, verse 19. Romans 12, 19. The Bible said, never avenge yourself. But leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay. Romans 12, 19. Our God is the God of justice. And he loved justice. It is good to, to, to want justice in the world. But when you try to get it yourself, you are putting your hands to the enemy, asking them to take you as a prayer. But if you leave it for God to, to take just to, to find justice for you, God will take vengeance on your behalf. Today, I see God is going to take vengeance for you in your place of work where they want you to be sacked for no reason. In your family where they want you to be sent away spiritually so that you don't know how to come back home anymore. In your marriage where they have teamed up together to send you packing. In your marriage where your spouse have planned to imprison you, send you to hand you over to the authority so that you languish in jail, the Lord is going to stop all of those processes in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. The next thing that God does is he won't let enemies succeed against you. He will not allow them to succeed. You'll be wondering how we God stop the process the process of wickedness. He will not allow the enemies to succeed against you. Your greatest enemy has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. That is the devil. The book of John 10, verse 10. But the Bible said, but I have come, Jesus has come to give you life and give you more abundantly. Are you struggling in any area of your life where the enemy has tempered with your destiny? Are you struggling in your health? Are you struggling in your finance? 
Are you struggling in your marriage? Are you struggling in your ministry, even in your relationship with Jesus? Today you are in sin, tomorrow you have confessed. Next tomorrow you are back to sin. It is the work of the enemy. The Lord is going to stop all of that. He will not allow that sin to have dominion over you in the name of Jesus. He doesn't walk alone. God does not walk. God doesn't walk alone. He walks with the angel, his angels to do this. Just like the devil does not walk alone, he walks with men. He uses men to afflict you. He uses men to cause you pain. He uses men and women to cause you displeasure and pain. But today, God is going to stop all of that process in the mighty name of Jesus. He will use other people. God is going to use other people to carry out his plans. God is going to use prophets, teachers, to speak into your life and bring about change. Just like the devil used friends, used church members, used family members, your work, your colleagues in the office to cause you pain, God is sending me to you this morning. He's saying an end has come to the process. Every conspiracy against you anywhere, every plan and purpose of the wicked to see you weep and be in pain, the Lord is going to stop that process in the name of Jesus. Sometimes it looks as if the plans of the enemy are succeeding. Brethren, do not panic. God is in control. The Bible said in Isaiah 54 verse 17, said no weapon that is formed against you will prosper. He said, every tongue that shall rise up against you in judgment, you shall condemn. So if you have people trying to see or to, 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 to sue you, to harm you, just walk in love towards them and leave the rest to God. God is faithful not to fail. He's too faithful not to fail. The Lord is going to stop them. He's going to stop the process. He's going to put an end to that conspiracy. He's going to put an end to that affliction. The Lord is going to turn it against them in the mighty name of Jesus. The next thing that God does, he will prepare a table before you in their presence. The enemy will run mad in this season for your sake in the name of Jesus because the Lord is going to prepare a table before you. I remember some years ago when I was walking, I just started walking in the bank and my manager, they want me to be confirmed. And all of a sudden, she never went on annual leave, but something happened and she was compared to go for an annual leave. By the time she returned back, the person that was, that was deputizing has sent my recommendation for confirmation to the, to the head office. And then she came back and said, Richard, who confirmed you? You see? So in the presence of your enemy, the Lord will set a table before you. Not just an ordinary table, a great table. Hallelujah. A great table. The Lord will put you in that position that will cause your enemy to run mad in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter how much wrong is done to you, I want you to forgive today. I want you to forgive. It doesn't matter because the devil is only using those human beings to afflict you. Forgive them physically and cry to God for vengeance. God knows how to deal with such men and women who has made themselves available for the devil to be used against his children. And I see God arising from the throne today, fighting in your stead and giving you victory in all that you do in the name of Jesus. The last one that God does, he will help you to defeat the real enemy. And who is the real enemy? The real enemy is the devil. It's not your co-worker. The real enemy is not your family members. The real enemy is not your parents. The real enemy is not your siblings. It is the devil that is your real enemy. Hallelujah. Ephesians 6 verse 12. To 13. It tells us that we do not fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness in high places. For you to know that those people that are fighting you who are plotting evil against you in your environment, in the place where you live, 
the devil has stirred them against you. If you take away the spirit of the enemy from them, the spirit of the devil from them, they are wonderful people. Hallelujah. Look at Paul. Paul used to, 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 to destroy Christians. He used to persecute believers. But when that spirit was taken away from him, he became the best apostle. So that person that you see in your family who has made themselves available to the enemy, they are not your real enemy. The real enemy is the devil. Forgive them by faith and go to God in prayers and ask God to, to, to actually deal with the enemy, the real enemy, so that you will have victory. I want to prophesy into your life today that victory will be yours in the name of Jesus. Before we pray, for God to begin to fight your battle <clears throat> and for God to give you victory and to stop the process of wickedness in your life, you need to surrender to him. That is why I want to ask you, brethren, if you are here this morning, you are not born again. This is an ample opportunity for you to give your life to Jesus. It's a time for you to take a decision, a wonderful decision, that you will never regret in life. I want you to say this word after me. It's possible you have been born again, but you derailed. I want you to also say this word after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for the privilege to hear your word this morning. I am a sinner. I have sinned all my life. I was born and raised in sin. I know you died on the cross of Calvary for my sake. Father, have mercy on me. Wash me in your blood. Forgive me my sin. Write my name in the book of life. Delete my name from the book of hell. Give me the power to sin no more. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I have made this confession. If you have just made that confession, congratulations. I want you to look for a Bible-believing church around you and begin to fellowship with brethren. And paraventure, you are in London and it's ever wrong. You want to fellowship with us, drop us an email, call us on the phone, and we will arrange to bring you to church. And we are happy to begin to nurture you and support you in your journey of your salvation. I pray the Lord will sustain that salvation in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray. And I want you to pray like you have never prayed before. The power of God is in the house to set free. The power of God is in the house to change lives. I want you to pray to God and say, oh Lord, arise against my adversary. Stop the process of their plans in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, arise, oh God, in your power against every of my adversaries. Stop the process of their plans. Every of their evil plans against me. Every of their evil plans against my marriage. Every of their evil plans against my children. Every of their evil plans against my husband. Every of their evil plans against my wife. Every of their evil plans against my job. Every of their evil plans against our nation. Every of their evil plans against the church of God. Oh Lord, arise, Lord, stop their plans. As I begin to pray, Zakaba, Zuku, Badi, Kede, 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 Badakoka, Zeke, Bodoka, Badi, Kakida, Kade, Bokoka, Keda, Badi. Daddy, stop the plan. As they begin to pray right now, arise in your power. Stop the plans of the evil one. Stop the plans of the enemy. Every evil plan, law, every adversary, every adversary, every adversary, their adversary in their place of work, they are vastly in their business, they are vastly in their marriage, they are vastly in their ministry, they are vastly to go in the place where they are born. Oh, Father, stop their evil plan. In the name of Jesus, Daddy, stop their evil plan. Dabada kude di zeke bodo badeka kuda deke bodo badaka zakada kuda di de bodo bodo kadi 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 zako badaka deke de di koko badaka dida zodo bodo kede badaka di zakabada kodo kede kede badaki di de de boko badeka kede kade bodo badi zoko kadi kadaba kude di kabade. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to pray again. For as many who the devil has captured already, and they are almost succeeding in their plan, or they have succeeded in their plan, 
God has the potency to reverse the irreversible. So you're going to cry to God and say, my father, my father, as I begin to pray in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, reverse the sources of their plan and give them a dry breast in the name of Jesus. Lord, reverse, oh God, the sources of the evil plan over my life that they give them a dry breast. Lord, arise, O oh God, as your children are praying right now. Reverse the sources of the evil plans in their life. Reverse the sources of the evil plan in their marriage. Reverse the sources of the evil plan in their ministry. Reverse the sources, Lord. Give them, O oh God, a dry breast. In the name of Jesus, give them a dry breast. Lord, give them a dry breast. Reverse the evil plan. Reverse the evil plan. Reverse the evil plan. Zika, Kuda, Bade, Kake, De, Kede, Boko, Bade, Kakeda. As many, O God, who have been captured by the enemy. As many that are in court already spiritually. As many, O God, who have been sent to court, O God, physically for their immigration processes. As many, O God, who have been sent to court that are going to appear before magistrate. As many, O God, who have been sent, O God, that are going to appear before men. O Father, I pray, Lord, revive so oh God, the evil plan of the enemy. Reverse the evil plan of the enemy. That it give them, oh God, a dry breast. In the name of Jesus, Lord, give them a dry breast. Lord, give them a dry breast. Lord, give them a dry breast. Bako zaka di kabada koke de bodo badaka. Zike de kodobodo badaki da kida. Zako de kede 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 boko kade badakidi. Zikaba kukade de kede boko kobada keda. Zodo bodo badeka kuda di kabada. De kede kede bo kabada. Zeke de bodo bodo kabadi kako kabada keda. Zade kodobodo bada. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I want you to lift up your hand as I pray for you. Heavenly Father, I just want to say thank you for your children. Thank you for what you have done in their life this morning. I declare, Lord God, as your oracle, that today, Lord, you will stop the process of the evil plans in their lives in the name of Jesus. Every adversary in their marriage, every adversary in their ministry, every adversary in their business, every adversary, Lord God, in their place of work. Oh, Father, every of their evil plan, you will stop it in the name of Jesus. Lord, you will give them a dry breast in the name of Jesus. You will reverse every irreversible, every of their sources that they have made in those plans. Father, reverse it right now. In the name of Jesus, that they reverse it right now. In the name of Jesus, every power that has come together physically or spiritually against anyone under the unction of my voice. I pray, Lord Jesus, you will scatter them. In the name of Jesus, I declare, Lord God, you will prepare a table for this one great table. That the great table in the presence of their enemies in the name of Jesus. You will take vengeance on their behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. May your name alone be praised. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Brethren, I want you to share this broadcast. I want you to like our page. I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I invite you to also invite your friends to join us on, on a weekly basis on this platform every Sunday at 11 Sunday at 11 for those of you that are on Facebook every Sunday at 11 a.m. London time for 30 minutes and you can also join us for the mail service from 10 a.m. to 11 30 on the zoom platform and as you do so the Lord will bless you richly in the mighty name of Jesus other main church activities are on our on our web page I want you to take some time to look at our page and begin to evangelize and uh, let people join to see what God is doing in our midst so that they can also benefit from it. Hallelujah. Amen. Until I see you again, stay blessed and have a wonderful week. God bless you. Bye for now. Bye.